Hey folks, this is Brian from Super Easy Toots, and in this tutorial, we're going to cover the data type bool, which is also um, called the Boolean values. And basically, bool is a data type, just like int, float, double, char, and string. Um, bool, however, can only have two possible values, true or false. And the true and false actually have uh, numeric values associated with them. True is going to be equal to 1 and false is going to be equal to zero and we'll get into more clarity in, in in regards to this in just a moment but I just want to kind of show you uh, an integer data type and a bool data type to see to show you that they are they work the same way basically if we declare an uh, integer variable named x and set it equal to four basically the first thing we have is our data type which is int then we have x which is our variable name and four which is the value that we've given to the variable now the same thing with bools we just uh, type the word bool b-o-o-l and uh, that's going to be our data type and then for this example I named John the variable name and I set the variable name John equal to true that's the variable value um, so when I see out this in a program uh, see out the word John the the variable name John it's gonna output one because true is equal to one it's not gonna actually output the word true um, and then in the other case if I set um, bool and I, this time I named it Jim equal to false when we see out the variable name Jim it's gonna output zero on the screen because again false is equal to zero and true is equal to one so now I'm gonna flip over here to Quincy and show you basically I've got what I just showed you in the notes um, bool John equals true bool Jim equals false I've see added both of them so I'm gonna run this And we're going to see a 1 and a 0, which we had here for John equaling true and Jim equaling false. When I see out of them, you get the 1 from John and the 0 from Jim. So now let me uncomment this and show you kind of how we can use this in kind of a program format. Basically what I've done here is I've created a bool uh, data type and named it hot. Uh, that's the variable name. Um, I didn't set it equal to any value. I'm going to let the user do that in just a minute. And then I um, created a char variable and set it, uh, that name, uh, the char variable name, to attractive. Again, I didn't uh, give it a value, so it starts out as a garbage value. Then what I did is just a, did a very simple program, see out statement to get an input from the user. Is Megan Fox hot? Type yet, uh, Y for yes and for no and then press enter and then the uh, user's input is going to go into the char attractive so the um, attractive variable name will take on whatever value the user inputs and then I just did an end uh, end out to keep some space in our output of our program um, if did an if else statement here if attractive which is our char equals is equal to the um, character Y then hot our bool variable will become true it will be equal to true uh, else if it's not equal to y then hot will be false um, now there's uh, the user can input um, another character other than these and I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now we'll get into that in later tutorials how to how to um, how to take care of that if the user inputs an invalid value or an invalid character or whatnot so basically uh, and then I've see outed the, um, the 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 bool variable hot to show you that it does take on whatever value here um, so now we're gonna run this and then I'm gonna be prompted is Megan Fox hot so I'm gonna put Y in here and we're gonna see the output of one from our C out statement because I said yes she is hot so uh, the variable hot the bool variable hot became equal to true which is a value of one um, and then it was C outed here and just to show you that it does work the other way as well we'll run this and this time I'll press N and we'll get the value of zero for that being equal to false um, you're going to see, uh, that's pretty much it on Boolean variables. You're going to see them pop up a lot um, with functions uh, a little bit later on in other tutorials. Um, 
checking whether a function is uh, whether a condition is uh, true or false. So that's pretty much it as far as uh, bool variables go. Uh, I'm sorry, bool data types go.